This video shows you how to use Teams to record your video submission. If you don't have the Teams app on your computer, just use the link in the video description here to download it, and make sure you sign in using your Griffith student email. If you have a group presenting, go to your Teams calendar, click to select a date and time, and invite the other members of your group. Start the meeting by clicking on the Join button from your calendar. If the assessment is individual, just use the Meet Now button in your calendar to start a meeting with yourself. Once you're in the meeting, you can share your slides by clicking on the Share button and uploading them from OneDrive or your local computer. When you're ready to present, click into the More Actions breadcrumb to begin the recording. If your meeting is face to camera only, remember you can drag a Word document in front of your meeting window. Center it underneath your webcam and keep the font size large. This keeps your eye scanning minimal. And remember, look straight into the camera as often as you can. This is your video version of maintaining eye contact with the audience. When you're done, take some time to smile and pause while you click back into the More Actions menu and stop the recording then just hang up. The MP4 or video file of your recording will turn up in the OneDrive of the person who scheduled the meeting. OneDrive is a digital storage space for your files. To access it, just type office.com into any web browser. This will take you to your Office 365 landing page where you can click on the blue cloud icon to get into your OneDrive. If the OneDrive icon is not in this list, just scroll down and click on All Apps. To find your video, click into OneDrive and locate the folder labelled Recordings. Before submitting your video, you need to upload it to a video server, either Stream or YouTube. As a first step, click on the breadcrumb next to your file name and select Download. Now it is sitting in your download folder, ready to be uploaded to Stream or YouTube. For instructions on how to do this, please see the next videos in this series, which are both linked from the end screen.